Hello everyone! In my last video, I talked about the importance of decompression and gave some examples of mistakes that you should avoid in the first few days of your dog's new life with you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what those first three days should look like. Before the new dog arrives, choose an area in your home where the new dog can acclimate to your home without the pressure of being involved with your entire family, which includes your other pets. So place your new dog's crate in a low traffic, quiet area, like a spare bedroom or an office, or maybe the laundry room, that's separate from where your current pets are kept. This can be separated by a door or by a baby gate, and it's where the new dog can have their crate, their toys, and their food bowls. This allows the new dog time and space to decompress, to observe and adjust to your home without having to interact with your current pets. Let me say this in the strongest possible terms. You should not introduce your new dog to your current dogs for at least those first three days. I will cover my suggested introduction process in the next video. If you have young children, take some time before the dog arrives to remind them that the new dog may not act like the other pets in your home and that they should move slowly, they should not invade the dog's personal space, they should not try to hug or pet the dog, the dog might not feel comfortable with this close contact, so no hugging, no kissing, no petting, no leaning over or on the dog until you 100% know and trust the dog. The new dog does not know you, and this type of behavior, while it's meant in a loving way, can be very intimidating for your new dog. That could make them growl, and that can scare the kids, or even worse, they could bite out of fear and anxiety. The dog needs to trust you, so don't assume that you can allow kids to love on the dog and, just, and get in their space just because the dog appears friendly. People are unfortunately notoriously bad at reading dog body language and knowing when their dog is uncomfortable, especially around kids. So it's important to set expectations up front since the kids are obviously going to be really excited when the dog arrives. So during those first three days, um, when the dog first arrives, before they even go inside your home, take them for a short walk or for a leashed outing in your backyard. Let them sniff around, let them go potty. When you get back to your home, keep them leashed and walk them calmly through the front door. And while continuing to keep them leashed, walk them all around your home. Do not allow the dog free roam of your house. I like to keep a drag line on the dog at all times during those first few days so I can start introducing those boundaries and I can monitor the dog carefully while they learn the rules of the house. Once you've done a quick tour with the dog, take them to their crate area give them some water, and then let them have some quiet time in their crate if they are crate trained. If they're not crate trained, you can use baby gates. The crate or the baby gated area should be in an area of the house that's neither isolated nor in the middle of everything. You want your new dog to be able to observe you and your family without feeling stressed and overwhelmed. So for those first three days, the new dog should either be in their crate or in the baby gated area supervised outside for potty and playtime, or spending time with you without your other pets present. So for example, you can sit, simply sit in a room and watch TV or read while your new dog rests on the floor near you. This is also a great time to start working on a place command with your dog. I really can't stress enough that new dogs should not be given immediate privileges like access to furniture, because this can really lead to behavioral issues such as resource guarding. I'm going to talk about resource guarding of furniture in a later video. It's something we see a lot. If you do have to have guests over, put the new dog into the crate or the baby gated area, but I would encourage you to wait at least a week or more before having many visitors over. And then do not take the dog to the park or out in crowds. It's just too much. So a few notes about house training, since that's often a big concern for new dog owners. First of all, be aware that accidents may happen even with potty trained dogs, so be sure to take them out frequently to reinforce that they need to go potty outside. Uh, people don't know that dogs do not necessarily extrapolate potty training from one house to another, so just be patient if they have an accident in your house. I always expect a dog to have at least one accident when I bring them home. So they may make these mistakes, but they will quickly learn the new potty routine. So to set them up for success, just always take them out immediately upon waking up and after meals. Um, any dog, especially an unneutered male or one who is not neutered at an early age, is likely to mark new territory, especially if other pets live there. So if the dog does mark or pee in the house, 
Just neutralize the spot with an enzymatic cleaner to completely get rid of the odor. If he continues to mark, a belly band works great to help with this kind of training. A few notes about crate training. Um, don't place any blankets or dog beds in the crate or even over the top until you're certain that the dog will not eat or destroy anything placed in the crate. Believe me, you would much rather have the dog lie on the bare crate tray than risk a possible life-threatening obstruction or emergency surgery from swallowing a foreign object. We have seen this happen way too many times. The crate should only be associated as a positive and safe place, and it should never be used for punishment. If the dog does not like being crated, start creating a positive association with the crate by feeding them in the crate with the door open. I've had my current dog Polly for two years, and I still always feed her in her crate. You can also give special treats like peanut butter and a Kong. Uh, Polly only gets peanut butter filled bones as a special treat when we leave her in the crate to go to the grocery store, just as an example. Um, and then help your dog learn manners from the very first day by always asking them to sit before you give them their food. Finally, remember for safety reasons while dogs are in the crate, they should never have collars or leashes on. I truly believe that just following these few tips during your dog's first few days will help them successfully integrate into their new home. So like I said, in my next video, I'm going to talk about my suggested process for introducing your new dog to your current dogs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.